he came into the room, didn't even greet me or say hello. He was like, we need, we need to remove your stomach. And I was like, what the heck? How does a person live without a stomach? I had no clue. I was having a hard time eating. I was getting a lot of fluid coming back up and I thought something was wrong. And then I didn't go see the doctors, but then January 1st, I woke up at like four or five in the morning and I went to the bathroom and all of a sudden I just started throwing up blood. Then I was just going in and out of consciousness. Thank God I had a roommate and a friend who uh, was there or else I probably would have died because I was bleeding internally. I had an ulcer that exploded. The ambulance came, picked me up, drove me to the hospital, and they went down and they uh, cauterized it, but they didn't like what they saw around the ulcer. They did the biopsy a week later, they came back and they said it was cancer. They didn't really know what stage it was um, at the time. When I got the call from the doctor, um, I was sort of numb, but I was like, all right, I'm just, I'm gonna fight it, you know? And then I called my stepmom and we just uh, had to start figuring stuff out. The first doctor I talked to was probably a month after. He was like, we, knew, we need to remove your stomach. We were thinking, well, can we do just a partial stomach removal? And he was like, nope, it's gotta be a full. And then we just started meeting with a lot of different doctors. And then the you know time was ticking. So I was like, I need to figure something out. Let's just go have the surgery. Let's get it done. So he cut me open and then he aborted. He didn't like what he saw. And so uh, he was like, he needs to get into chemo. And so I started chemo and I did four rounds of flot. After I finished the four rounds of chemo, I had um, the total gastrectomy and they also removed my spleen and they cut my diaphragm and uh, they removed, I think, 14 or 16 lymph nodes. And uh, it was a stage three diagnosis. But then two weeks later, I woke up early one morning and it felt like I got kicked in the chest by a horse. Um, I had a lung infection and I thought I was dying. I couldn't breathe. I was in the hospital f for about I think 12 or 13 days. I mean, I got through that, I survived that. When I started this whole, whole journey, I was 6'4", 230 pounds. And uh, in December, I was 140 pounds. So in a year, I lost 90 pounds. And right after the lung infection, they wanted me to gain some weight, which was uh, extremely difficult. And I was weak and tired and they said, we have to get you back in chemo just, you know, cause it's the protocol. Um, so I did one round of chemo and I mean, that almost completely destroyed me. And I was like, I can't do any more of the chemo. Let's just uh, monitor me every three months. Um, and I had a CT scan, everything came back negative. And then just every three months we've been doing CT scans and now I'm uh, back up to about 185 pounds um, and I'm doing well. I'm getting stronger, I'm alive, I'm blessed and uh, uh, loving life. I'm actually getting my, my feeding tube and my, my, uh, my port taken out in November. And then uh, we'll go on from there and get this damn tube out of my system. <laughs> I hate having a hole in my belly. It's a it's a tough roller coaster ride. Let me tell you. Stay strong. Be positive. Accept what you're going through. Accept it and and know that it'll it will end eventually. The pain will end. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to uh, listen to your body. But most importantly is try to keep your mind strong. I know. It was extremely difficult to stay positive, but that's when your your family and your friends, you know, help you out. And it's it's not a bad idea to also get on uh, medication, 
you know, um, for depression. I had the greatest doctor and my parents and family, um, just the support system and all the love and caring and positivity um, that everybody has shown me. Looking back, it's, it's, uh, it's quite hard to, you know, it's quite hard. I'm really just trying to take each day as it comes, focusing on every moment that I have and uh, just appreciating life 